My name's Charles Huffington Squire and I'm the Tunbridge Farms manager here at Adrian Scripps. And I manage the West Kent Farms, Bramley apples, dessert fruit, um, apples, grapes, and black currants. We're uh, producing over 300 hectares in total. Um, the farm we're currently on is Honiton Farm and we're a 60 hectare farm. On this farm specifically, we're producing around 35 million apples a year and within the whole business we're doing up to 120 million apples a year. We're supplying uh, multiple uh, local markets as well as uh, exporting. Uh, we're the UK's biggest exporter to, uh, of uh, apple dessert fruit. Pink Lady is obviously one of the biggest brands in the world um, and we as a company have felt that we need to grow Pink Lady for the UK, grown locally, instead of importing it from the other side of the world. We have worked very hard as a company to get this brand of Apple into the UK. It's crunchy, it's sweet, it's juicy, it's pink, it's bright, it's vibrant. It's one of the most beautiful apples, as you can see here. Um, and yeah, it's just exciting. So we're currently standing in an orchard that is uh, at harvest um, with the fruit in the tree before it's all getting picked. Once the fruit's off the tree, where the leaves will drop uh, and we'll go into a dormant stage um, of uh, where the tree effectively goes to sleep and it'll wake up or it'll start blooming again in spring once it's had enough cold units, once it's been cold enough for a certain period of time. Once it's had enough cold units, we arrive at blossom where all the beautiful flowers come out. Um, and then we'll bring beehives in and the bees will pollinate the trees from one variety to the next. Um, and they will flower in a sequence. Once the pollination has happened, then we will uh, start seeing little fruitlets develop on the tree and the flower turns into a fruit and starts to grow. We manage this constantly. We, we count how much fruit's on the tree. We um, will do an analysis of if it's too much or too little and we will manage it accordingly. We'll monitor it for pest and disease throughout the season um, from start to finish and then fruits grow into beautiful apples and then we come to harvest where we harvest each variety one by one and they all mature in a certain sequence so that we don't get overloaded. Start of harvest is in August and we're still harvesting now and we will be for another two to three weeks so we'll go right through into November. If we didn't have crab apples in the orchard, the pollination that we would uh, get or the amount of fruit that would actually set on the tree would be a lot less. So we have to manipulate the tree, which is because it's not self-pollinating, in order to get the cross-pollination for the bees. And it's also beneficial for the bees because then they get to make honey as well. Uh, we grow uh, many different varieties all on the same rootstock. So basically what that means is um, the bottom part of the tree which is in the ground is a rootstock and the top part of the tree is the variety of fruit. Um, and we will we manage all the rootstocks is to manage our vigor of the tree to increase light penetration for better color, better sugar development and better bud development for the following year. So as you can see here, we're growing, we're growing on a post, single post and wire system. Um, we, throughout Adrian Scripps Limited, the majority of our orchards are all on single post and wire. We are tying all of the branches into the wires in order to create a fruiting 2D wall. 
This makes it more efficient for all of our pickers and our machines, as well as uh, pest and disease management. And it is much more effective and productive. So we manage multiple different um, pests and diseases, um, but we take an IPM approach where we integrate pest management, where we use uh, monitoring processes uh, such as RoomPro, where we monitor the weather and we know when and where we will have infection periods. So we're very specific about when we apply what, um, and we walk our crops weekly, um, and that's the entire farm, which is quite a lot of work. Um, but we know exactly what's going on in every single orchard every week, um, and we will adjust everything accordingly. For example, apple scab is one of our biggest problems. Um, and we're on the pest side, we'll be monitoring codling moth, which is a little caterpillar that eats into the apple. Um, and that is still a very large and big problem for us growers. So when we take leaf samples, we're taking leaves out of next year's buds, which analyzes the nutrition within the bud for the following year. We're, we've already produced this crop, we're analyzing for the following year and we're constantly adjusting for what's on the tree with regard into what's happening the following year as well. During the flowering period, we have worked with external companies to develop a camera system that is mounted onto a tractor um, that helps us scan each tree, the amount of flowers on each tree, so we can adjust our uh, spray programs for each tree. We're down to a tree level and we are opening and closing our sprayers as to what is required for each tree. And it's a quite an innovative way of reducing chemicals and being more sustainable within the orchard. So Adrian Scripps have brought in this Revo machine, which we are very proud of. It is a self-leveling four-wheel drive, um, self-driving machine that the pickers can put the apples directly onto the conveyor belts without using traditional buckets. Traditionally, we would uh, each picker would have a bucket that they carry, and we put the fruit into the bucket, and then have to carry it to each bin. This, the Revo eliminates this whole process, whereas we are, the, the conveyor is right at the tree, there's less walking, there's less management, there's less uh, movement of fruit, and not only does it help the quality, but it helps the efficiencies, and they, as pickers, they're just happier. Picking uh, apples is a very difficult process as they are, it's fresh produce and they can be bruised or damaged very easily if not done correctly. So we train our pickers how to pick and what to do. We're constantly showing people the right way to do it and how to pick them. If they pick incorrectly or place them incorrectly, you can bruise the fruit and that goes for any apple. So every single apple is picked by hand and the fruit gets taken from the orchard directly into cold storage within a few hours. Um, and the fruit is stored uh, under controlled atmosphere uh, where we are constantly monitoring them um, through the latest technology and um, we have some of the best stores in the country and we monitor the fruits uh, and see if it develops any stress levels um, and we are monitoring the chlorophyll development of this, the, the, the fruit um, and if the stress goes too high we'll adjust the store 
Um, and once we are ready to send the fruit to supermarkets, it goes directly into our pack house. Pack house sorts our fruit and over a grader, which is a state of the art camera systems, um, where it goes through the pack house into flow wrap or whatever the des desired um, packaging is for the supermarket and straight onto a lorry and straight into the, the um, into the supermarket. This year has presented many challenges, one being the weather and early spring being very wet um, influenced a lot of pest and disease uh, where it just meant we had to work even harder to produce a good crop. All the way through the summer um, it was relatively wet constantly and then into S September we've had one of the wettest Septembers in, on record. This presents many challenges for harvest, uh, having wet ground, um, wet mornings, freezing fruit uh, when we're trying to pick. Um, and now we've also got challenges of just wet um, ground. I think this year's uh, and the past few years, has, the labor has been a very big challenge. Um, the availability of skilled labor uh, within the fruit industry is something that is we are currently dealing with. The availability of robotics uh, to pick fruit is not there yet. Um, we're, we're far away from that. So we have to use um, labor. I think what we are proud of at Adrian Scripps is that we provide as much opportunity as possible for all seasonal staff to earn and learn and grow within our business um, going forward. My favorite time of year is springtime uh, because it's such a beautiful time of the year. It's when the flowers out, when we have a change of season and everything just comes to light. This is not only the biggest job in the world, it's the most important job. Without farmers, without food, we wouldn't be around. And this is where food starts. This is what we do every day, day in, day out. And it's just what we love doing. So thanks for joining us at Honiton Farm and many thanks to your follower farmer and let's see all the rest of the videos on YouTube.